So glad I'm able to help you guys level this bad boy. Because it is a bitch. Hey guys, this is Joe Tech from Joe Tech Tips. We're on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And today I'm going to show you how to level the Creality CR10S Pro. Now, as a noob, as you guys know, um, I was requested to do a how-to video on how to level the CR10S Pro. So that's what we're going to do today. And um, I'm, I'm excited to do this for you guys. This is going to be great. And you're going to be able to get perfect prints after you watch this video. Let's get to it. So this is very important. You see this tool. I'm sure you've seen instructions on how to level this gantry. Let's do this first. That piece of plastic is a guide for the sensor that is here. Okay, this sensor is movable. These two screws here loosen up the sensor height. Make sure you loosen these up. This is the first step. A lot of people don't even know this even exists. <laughs> Make sure you unscrew these two screws. Make sure that sensor is sitting on top of that piece of plastic. If it is not, do so. You must do that. That is critical. Okay? You must do that. Once this is done, once that is done, tighten up the screws and pull this out. Okay, that is that's critical. You have to be able to slide this underneath there. All right, that's done. Second step after you do that is that you must do the gantry height. You must be able to stick this piece of plastic underneath the gantry. I'm just going to lower this down a little bit more here. I'm doing it manually with the electronic thing. And we should be able to get this underneath with no problem. We still got a gap. Let's see. All right. So we see how it's kind of sort of stuck there. It's not quite good. Let's check this side here. That's, that's perfect here. This side is fine. This side we have to manually go up a little bit. Okay, that's good there. There's no there's no play, up and down play. It's critical. And they they have to match. Okay, this is perfect. So both sides match perfectly for the height. The top of this, the bottom of this, really can't see. The bottom of this and the bottom of this. That's what this is for. And you slide this in here like so. And it's got to be able to go in and out with no problem, which it does. Okay? That's critical. 0.2 filler gauge for the print head. This is important. This is the next step. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit aux, aux leveling, which is this button here, okay? And then this grid's going to come up, and we're going to hit number two. All right? And I want to try to zoom in on this so you can actually see what I am doing. You see how there's too much play? Believe it or not, there's play there. So, we need to, this wheel, there's a, an adjustment wheel on the bottom here that adjusts the height. So we need to have this go down and we need it to be just, feel like it's actually catching. You actually can get the feeler just underneath that and you have to feel it like it's actually being grabbed by the, by the head. Once you feel that's being grabbed by the head, then this corner is finished, okay? I know this is so freaking crazy, but this is what you have to do. Now we're going to move this to the other side. All right, so we need to drop this down. All right, so it's, it's just barely grabbing. That's good. Now we're going to go and do the back corner. Should be the same camera angle. Just moving the bed. 
I'm going to drop this down as well. And I feel it. That's pretty good. Let's do a little bit more. Okay, that's good. Now we're going to move it to the other corner here and make the appropriate adjustments. Let's see. Okay, that's good. Now, when I press uh, the number one spot, which is the center of the table, all hell breaks loose. Now, when I say all hell breaks loose, I'll show you what happens. Now, everything should be perfect, right? But I can't get my feeler gauge on the, underneath that at all to save my life. So, what we do now is that we hope to God auto leveling feature which is the measuring one here will do its work so let's do that now so we did all the manual processes already we did the leveling of the sensor we did the leveling of the gantry we did the manual of the wheels we did everything and now we're going to have the software take over and figure out all 16 points there's four here and there's four up so a total of 16 points and it's going to correct them with software all right so once this is done it'll give us all 16 points now this is the part that's kind of wacky and i'm going to zoom in on this and show you how wacky this is i mean it's great that it's that this works like this because if you didn't have the auto leveling capability then you would, the software would screw up, I mean the hardware would screw up rather, and you wouldn't have good leveling. The prints would be out of whack, and my, my heated bed is so screwed up, it's not even funny. So, because it's actually bowed. And once this is completed, you'll see what I'm talking about. It's almost finished. All right, we're done. Now, these are the 16 points. This proves that my heated bed is not level. The far back corner is a negative 0 0.0525 millimeters lower than, look at this one, just right in front of it. This is a positive number. So it's 0 0.1450 <laughs> higher. So this shows you this my bed is all over the place. So it's lower in the back and higher in the front, except for the far right corner, the far front corner, which is in a negative. So this is a positive negative. So it just proves to you my board's all screwed up. <laughs> my bed is all messed up. It's not even straight or not even flat. So that's why this feature, this function here is important. Now, you can adjust your Z-axis right here manually. Do not press the Z home button that'll reset everything all right so do not do that that'll th screw everything up but you can hit positive and negative all you want okay so when you're printing and something seems a little off you might want to go down lower or up higher based on how it's printing so you could do this on the fly which is really nice okay so then that's pretty much it. So we're going to start doing a print. Oh, so so now we're pretty much ready to rock and roll here. We're just going to do infill of zero and select print on this. Okay, we're at 60C. We're going to start printing. Now what I like to do is that I like to go to the adjust here. And this is where I can make adjustments on my head on the fly. Okay? which is very important. You might, you, want, you might want to be on the screen when you do it. Okay, now it's starting to print. Let's see how she goes. How does she look? It is doing a circle. That's what I wanted it to do. And see how it's getting all screwed up?
Look at that. There's a messed up print already. Now I have to stop this. This is crazy. Let's go home. Now this is what I'm talking about. Look at that. And we leveled this thing perfectly fine. Everything was great. And it still got messed up. I didn't do anything wrong. Nothing. So let's move, let's move the table forward and clean this off. So now what I like to do is the speed of the print is obviously going too fast. Okay. So let's print this again. Go zero infill and print. So we're going to make the adjustment of the speed of the print. Let me show you something here. On the screen here, there's print speed. We're going to change this to 50. Because obviously it's going way too fast. Let's see if the speed actually helps. We slowed it down to half of what it's supposed to be. So let's see how she goes. We always go to the adjustment screen so we can adjust on the fly. So we're just doing a circle. We're doing infill of zero. Okay. Let's see how she goes. Messed up again. Now this is the first layer. Let's see. That's doing much better. Just that outer circle was not working well. I actually dropped the adjustment, the unit millimeters, down to negative point point uh, negative point one seven. It was negative point one three. It seems to be doing much better. As you can see, it's actually working pretty good there. It's doing great infill of that first layer. I'm happy with that. That's actually really good. So, a slight adjustment on the control panel here. Because you had to do it on the fly. And once this is set, you're pretty much good to go. See, it's almost finished filling that in there, if you could see. Let's see what it does next. Now, remember, we're only doing 50. We're going very slow. Just to make sure that this is all working out properly. Now, let's do the next layer. So, this is, this is acceptable. This is working out very, very well. Just the beginning, the first layer going around the, the outside, it, there's a specific name for that. Damned if I know what the hell it is. <laughs> but the next layer is going on nice and perfect, so that's going out really well. So it's just, you have to tweak this. And again, I stress this highly. I am a noob at this okay so I'm doing this is perfect this video is actually perfect for the beginner all right cuz I'm not portraying to be some expert at this and since I am mr. Joe Tech tips this is absolutely a perfect video for everyone because all the videos out there show it this thing is like an awesome, I mean, it is an awesome printer. Once it's tweaked, it works perfect. Here we go, and now we're going to the third layer. So that is clearly showing you how perfect that that is. That actually looks pretty darn good. I mean, I'm not going to complain. I don't think anybody else would complain either. That looks 
absolutely perfect there, that circle. That's all I'm printing. I'm just doing something real basic just so we can get something going here fast. But as being a noob and not a professional 3D printer guy, this is perfect for you guys as well, is that if you follow the instructions and how to, to level this thing, you will have successful prints like this. But there is tweaking involved. And we might be able to increase the speed on this. I have it going really slow, as you can clearly see. <laughs> but I'm only doing it slow so I can actually see, you know, the mistakes. It's working out well. So I hope this video was helpful. Because a lot of people have been requesting the video that I do, that, that I do this video to, uh, to show people how to level the bed. And uh, this is working out rather well. That's absolutely perfect. I'm so glad I was able to show you how to level this thing the right way. That's amazing. Absolutely amazing. <laughs> now, just so you know, this is zero infill. I, oh God, I can't believe it. That's the coolest freaking thing ever. So, guys, as you can see... That's how you do the leveling of the CR-10S Pro. Uh, I'm hoping that this was useful for you. And if you're having some trouble or whatever, please feel free to comment below and I'll help you as best I can. Okay? Don't hesitate to ask. That's what I'm here for. If you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And as always, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Take care and we'll see you next time. So I'm sure you received this in your... Great. <laughs> Creative Labs iRaw. Plug it in like, like this. The inside of this is really impressive. 100A in the Prius. The AC adapter, one amp charger. And it's big, and it's made out of aluminum. Okay, as you can see, the backup is complete. Like so. Now you can create the rate array. I mean, for, for the for the price difference between the two.